Today I have 15 booster packs of Silver Tempest from Best Buy in search of the god packs that have been found recently. Many people have been sharing their stories of the awesome god packs that they have been opening and they all seem to be coming from Best Buy. It's not every day that we find ourselves in a god pack situation for Pokemon so I figured why not and order 15 booster packs to test our luck to see if we can pull an alt art or two. Let's go see what we can pull. This is Lizard Bro. So apparently, Best Buy, out of all the retail stores that are out there, apparently Best Buy has been getting some cracked out Silver Tempest God Packs, sleeved Silver Tempest God Packs. Uh, it's been absolutely wild. I don't know if you guys are on Twitter much, X, whatever that damn app is called nowadays, I don't care. But uh, I'll, I'll put up some images. I don't know if I'm going to put them up in the intro or this part of the video, but people have been finding and getting and ordering these Silver Tempest Packs from Best Buy because... They've been producing bangers upon bangers, double hit packs, packs with, like people have been pulling Lugia alt arts left and right. I'm not sure how the price has affected that, like on TCG Marketplace, but people have been pulling Lugia, Rainbow Rares, double hit packs, just people will go into stores and buy 20 packs and have 20 hits, actually more than 20 hits if you get double hit packs, but I had to test my luck. I got 15 here today. These were all from an online order. I got them over the past few days because uh, Best Buy you're allowed a, an order of five like per day per account so it took me like a few days to accrue these but I finally got them in finally gonna sit down and do video I didn't want to overdo it just in case these aren't god packs just in case they are dud packs the standard opening here at Lazard Bros is mostly dud pack openings but we may have a shot here today at 15 god packs this over time so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best if not it's just, then it's just gonna be I guess a normal Silver Tempest uh, video. So I'm going to stack these up and we're going to get into ripping. A uh, shout out uh, to Meech from Pallet on Twitter. Uh, he's kind of throwing these out there. He's kind of bringing the word to him. I'm going to put these over here on this side just to keep him more out of the way. But he's kind of, he's, he's putting the word out. And obviously, as the photos have proven, people have been getting some absolute bangers from these Best Buy <laughs> Silver Tempest packs. And also shout out to uh, Jim Mint uh, TCG on uh, YouTube. Go check out his channel. He did 36 packs uh, from Best Buy. And dude, that was an insane opening. Every single pack that he opened was a god pack. Like just hits after hits after hits. Whether it ranges from a Radiant like Alakazam to V-Stars to Rainbow Rares to Full Art Trainers. And even the code cards don't matter. So he was getting hits and white code cards and if you don't know white code cards you're most likely going to get a non-holo unless you get a trainer gallery spot whether it's like a trainer gallery v max or some type of card like that so we'll see if we can get some double hit packs from white code cards i don't even know should i even do the card trick we'll see how this goes again this could just be a normal opening i'm honestly not expecting too much from these uh it's most likely, again, like I said, here at Lazard Bros, we do nothing but dud pack openings. So we're going to see what we could do. We got a Smeargle, Esper, we got a Clean Clang, and this is not a good start. We got a Fion, a non holographic. So that's how a normal pack should be of Silver Tempest. Uh, so yeah, this, is a, this may just be a your standard uh, Silver Tempest opening. We still could pull a Lugia alt art just for you know a normal opening so we'll see uh, I just had to get in on this action so this did happen with the Silver Tempest packs before these used to come in like people were finding the god packs in so there's a black coat damn like that one got like stamped people were finding these Silver Tempest god packs in the like lunchbox tins a while ago uh, I forgot, I think it was like a, like an East Coast thing, because I think CTR opened them, I think even Pokerev opened some, so this may just be like an after thing, like something else happening with Silver Tempest. I don't know what's going on, I don't know how any of that works, how they package these. We'll see what we can get. A hollow, I'm not even going to attempt per, to pronounce that, Ranunculus, something like that. We got a hollow, we'll take it, and uh, an absolute blank code card on that one. 
Something's going on with Silver Tempest. What is the deal? There, there's some tomfoolery going on. Again, 15 packs. Like I said, didn't want to overdo it, and I'm kind of glad. I mean, yeah, we got a hollow and a non-hollow out of the first two packs. Really kind of glad I didn't overdo it. I mean, if I if they were in store, if I had a Best Buy actually kind of close to me, and these were in store, I could actually go in and buy a few and then test it out from there. I think I centered my camera. Smoke my camera. It'll be all right. It happens around here. Black code card. We may have a hit in here. Should have a hit according to the black code card. Come on now. Yeah, if I had a Best Buy actually closer to me, I'd like to actually go there and buy the packs in person. But ordering them online, you're not sure where they're going to ship from. You're not exactly sure what you're going to get. So we'll see what we can get. We got a Pikachu. We got a Nine Tails. We may have something. Arcanine V, again, I don't think this is necessarily part of the God Pack uh, fiasco going on right now, but because uh, it's just a regular pack, a black code card, a regular uh, regular opening here at <laughs> Zard Bros. Again, we mostly do dud pack openings here. It's no surprise that we wouldn't get any type of uh, weird God Pack situation going on, but hey, there's still some chance of some awesome cards. There's a Serena Full Art in here. Uh, some rainbow rares that I actually still need for uh, my collection. I'm not... Make sure not skip a card. Not really trying to complete the set. I mean, a Silver Tempest is pretty available, so I'm not really, you know, after that. I'm kind of just focusing more on sealed product and whatnot. Incineroar and a Gardevoir. So I think... Uh, so I ordered these by five. So... I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. So I, I did keep these in order. One, two, three. So this would be. Sorry, this is all. All in shambles right now. This should be the last pack out of that first uh, order. So again, I'm, I forgot where these ship from. Maybe Chicago or Kentucky, somewhere around in here. I, I know that's like two completely different states, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go through this one straight away. We got an Indeedy, Miss Drevia, Swablu, Altaria, and a Mawile V. Not too bad. Is that a white code? Uh, that's a black code card. So that's that's normal. So these next ten packs may have been shipped from somewhere else. I'm not 100 percent sure. Again, I don't know if it's a batching thing. I don't know if something like I said how they package these, uh, how they package Pokemon packs in general. I'm not sure if it's a weight thing. I'm not sure if. Something just got loaded wrong. This pack got absolutely demolished. Maybe we can get some uh, God Pack action. Come on, let's let's have something in our favor for, for once. Come on, we got a Dratini. Ooh, we got a Breaks in Trainer Gallery. This may be a little start of something. See, that's possible in a white code card pack if you don't know. So we're going to find out. And an Armaldo, non-holographic, so definitely not a God Pack. But hey, we will take a Brazen, Braxen. However you pronounce that, definitely going to sleeve it up. Got Serena in there. Dude, that's an awesome... Some of these train... Dude, a lot of people are sleeping on these uh, trainer gallery cards. I know there's no there's no texture, but dude, the artwork is is pretty crazy. These, these walked so Scarlet and Violet era could run, right? I mean, the artwork and the trainer gallery spots, and then you got the uh, Silver Tempest, yeah. You got the Scarlet and Violet era that, with the artwork now, is just mind-blowingly good. Just some of the stuff that's out there, some of the art rare, or some of the illustration rares that are out there now, some of the greatest stuff going on, some of the greatest artwork, you know, being seen in Pokemon right now. Stonjourner and a Clean Clank, so definitely not God Packs. Had to test our luck though. I mean, we I had to I had to at least try. At least it's some sort of uh, content. But yeah, I'll definitely. Whether it's in the intro or at the beginning of the actual like opening part of this video, definitely gonna put uh, some pictures up that are from Twitter that people have just been pulling alt art Lugias, alt art Reggie Dragos, Rainbow Rares, double hit packs, just absolute insanity. Come ooh, and we got the Altaria Trainer Gallery. That's another nice one. Some absolute insanity coming from <laughs> Silver Tempest. Never, uh, just some wild times when it comes to, uh, had to sleeve it up. Altaria Trainer Gallery, not too bad. Some wild times. Now drop it. PSA 0 for Silver Tempest. Come on. Let's get an alt art. I haven't hit an alt art in 
in a hot minute. I've been dry. It's been, <laughs> I've been on a dry streak. Need to get something. Come on. Or, or Rainbow Rare. Even like, I think I just saw that an entire pack. It was like all yellow borders. But we're going to see. Come on. Maybe another Trainer Gallery. You never know. Relicanth. Ooh, in the Duraludon VMAX. That is sick. I know a lot of people don't like these like black and gold Trainer Gallery cards. Dude, these are actually pretty, <laughs> pretty nasty. Duraludon VMAX. They also have like the actual artwork Trainer Gallery of Duraludon VMAX. That's pretty cool. It's like almost an alt art un unto itself. Dude, we got some gold. We had a lot of Trainer Gallery hits here today. Silver Tempest, man, like... It kind of got lost in the shuffle coming after Lost Origin and, you know, the, the tail end of the Sword and Shield era and then, like, Crown Zenith was around, was it came out after Silver Tempest. Yeah, Crown Zenith was the last Sword and Shield set. So it kind of got lost in the mix, and now that people are going back to it, I mean, including myself, I'm guilty of it. Dude, such an awesome set. So many awesome cards. Armaldo, Armaldo is in a lot of Silver Tempest packs. I've opened my fair share. I will let you know. Armaldo is in there. You will not ever not pull a non-holographic Armaldo. It's bound to happen. Come on. Let's let's we're ramping it up. We're hyping this up. Come on. We got Altaria. We got Brazen. We got a gold card. Come on now. We can do better. We or more. We can do <laughs> more better. Petalil. Oh my god. These are like stuck or slipping. Dratini and a Lilligant non-holographic. I did pull one Lugia Altar is from like the initial release. Uh, I had an ETB in my collection, and I like we were sitting around one night, and I had to like we were bored. I was like, hey, let's go open something. I just it's like I'll open the Silver Tempest. It was pretty, you know, replaceable. I think you can still find Silver Tempest ETBs for $30, 35, easily 35. But uh, opened it, yeah, ended up pulling the Lugia Altar. In front of my brother, of all people, and just started running throughout the house. We had a Malamar, Trainer Gallery. Dude, that's, that's sick artwork. Like, how can you turn down that artwork? And a Keldeo. So definitely uh, no real God Pack situation here, unfortunately. But we are getting hits. Like, they're definitely, uh, again, just a regular Silver Tempest opening. But it could be going way worse right now. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting cards, bro. We're getting, <laughs> we are getting cards for our collection. That's what matters. Come on, Reggie Drago artwork. I think we're down to like a couple of packs. So again, not the longest video in the world, not the biggest uh, opening. Literally just 15 packs. Had to try our luck on these God packs. And unfortunately, not the situation, but hey, still having a good time. Petalil, Zygarde, <laughs> oh, oh, oh brother. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Armaldo. Not the, not the coolest cat in the house. Come on, let's. Like I think that unknown. I think the unknown alt art. I don't. A lot of the alt arts in the Sword and Shield uh, era are going up, but unknown is still. I, I want to say hanging around thirty dollars, maybe a little bit less. Anywhere from twenty to thirty. I think I bought mine relatively, like a, maybe a month or two after the set of, uh, release. I think I paid like thirty five for, which is maybe a little high at the time. Fioni and an Articuno holographic. Is it Fioni or Fion? Fion? I don't know. Last pack, Silver Tempest. Definitely go check. If you guys have a Best Buy near you, go definitely or go check them out. I'm having a stroke here. Go check them out. Uh, if they have Silver Tempest, dude, like the proof is in the pictures. Like people have been, even in a Jim Mint uh, TCG's video, it's definitely possible to get some God Packs. So if you're not sure, definitely just go in and like buy a few and see you know see what the deal is see if you can get some god packs at your local best buy it's uh it's uh, it's not if you do like it's pokemon don't do that on purpose obviously so to have like a little like glorified opening is like there's nothing like it just like to know every pack has a hit last pack here we go let's see if we can end it on a banger we got a pikachu dude i keep slipping i'm slipping here ponyta Venonat, Arcanine, and for the final rare, we got a V, Omnistar V. Not too bad, dude. He is menacing. Holy. Not too bad of an opening.